Mark the desired footprint location. Sand the surface flat and level using 60 grit for adhesion. Ensure that bare steel or aluminium is exposed. Dispense equal parts of JB World epoxy onto a mixing board, then mix thoroughly. When mixing JB World, it's important that you work all the air out of it and mix it to a uniform dark grey colour. Clean both surfaces thoroughly using acetone and a clean rag. Apply large amounts of the mixed JB Weld onto the base of the footprint, ensuring that there is no air pockets. Apply the footprint to the prepared surface using downward pressure, twisting to the left and to the right, ensuring maximum face contact. Carefully clean the top face of the footprint, removing any JB World debris. Apply masking tape to footprint to hold in position. Allow 24 hours for JB World to cure correctly. After curing, remove tape and clean both surfaces thoroughly with acetone and a clean rag. Apply the supplied block type 515 to the transducer face evenly as shown. Holding the cable in one hand and the transducer in the other, carefully screw the transducer onto the footprint as tightly as possible by hand, ensuring full face contact has been checked. Allow Loctite 515 24 hours curing before powering your system on. <laughs>